Okay, so firing a spark plug is no big deal, except to me it is, because I'm using a, a used Audi coil on plug assembly and driving it with an Arduino Uno, and uh, the idea is I want to start making a uh, uh, electronic ignition for an old ATV vehicle, and uh, I've seen a lot of. Uh, videos where people get part way and then they just kind of quit and so I wanted to see if I could get a little further but I'm kind of tickled with getting this far at any rate so here again is a spark plug firing once a second being triggered by the Arduino I did hook up a uh, an LED but uh, that's only on when the uh, spark is being triggered, so it's only two milliseconds and it's not enough for us to see, even though I have only a 100 ohm series resistor. But anyway, so that's that. Um, this piece of paper here is an Audi circuit diagram, and uh, I don't know if that's going to be in focus or not, but here on the right hand side it shows the coil packs hooked up and how they work, and then down there is my interpretation of how to hook that up and my first attempt which worked was to use a garden tractor battery to supply power and ground to the coil on pack uh, or uh, uh, coil on plug pack and then four and a half volts uh, just to a push button here to just trigger uh, uh, send uh, send uh, the trigger signal to the uh, uh, to the uh, coil on plug pack okay and so then once I saw that that did work, that I was understanding what was going on, then I just wrote a very, very simple Arduino program just to fire this thing uh, for, uh, for a second. And I forgot even what the time is that the pulse is on uh, here on the scope. I don't know if you'll be able to see these things happen, but there should be two pulses per screen here trigger on the left and then trigger when it happens again so they should be about a second apart and that's the signal it'd be kind of fun and maybe I will go at this a little more seriously because I've read a bit about the coil packs and so on ain't no expert that's for sure and uh, it'd be interesting to see what the uh, coil current is and to understand more about the saturation current and stuff and maybe I'll do that later. But my next, uh, my next move will be to um, rewrite the software and add a potentiometer. Uh, I've got to be able to handle uh, sparks between, uh, you know, start it up up to 6,500 RPM. So first thing I'll do is set up a pot uh, so that I can run through that range just to see what works. And then we'll go to the point of adding a Hall effect sensor and some kind of a rotary magnets to 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 take the next step. Anyway, that's that for now.